Hey guys, King of Charmanders here. I bring to you a series called the What If This Pokemon Had This Move. It can either be one or multiple moves. However, one of the reasons why Pokemon Go PvP is so limited is because so many Pokemon have really bad move sets. So since this has never been done before, as far as like being on YouTube, etc., I thought why not put a video series out there which basically represents Pokemon if they had this move or multiple moves, how powerful and how dominant that Pokemon would be and how much it would affect their potential in any meta. I will be going over each individual Mon and going over a matrix of how much this actually flips matchups if you gave the Pokemon these move, this move or these moves. This video series is designed to help you get a glimpse or get the feel of analyzing putting different or unorthodox movesets on your Pokemon. For example, like Focus Blast on Mewtwo in Season 1 or Flash Cannon on your Hydreigon to take out Togekiss. As you see, these moves have great coverage and might surprise you if you analyze and you use them well. So you can do some really cool things and have coverage against a lot of different meta Pokemon. What if Kyogre had Dragon Tail? Hey guys, King of Charmanders here. Alright, so for today's What If This Pokemon Had This Moveset episode, I'm actually taking a suggestion from my friend. Me and him were talking on Discord, hanging out with my friends as usual until everything returns to normal, and he suggested that maybe you should try out Kyogre with Dragon Tail. For those of you that don't know, a while ago, Dragon Tail was actually removed from the move pool. When Kyogre first released as a raid boss, if you Charles, one of the data miners, actually found that Ky they actually removed Dragon Tail from Kyogre, which would have made it a really great dragon type attacker to take out dragon raid bosses. Now, the interesting thing is, what if Kyogre had Dragon Tail for PvP? Today we're gonna analyze that. So as you see here, we got Kyogre. Kyogre, it does not need introduction. It's in an iconic, it's a very iconic legendary Pokemon with one of the most popular trios in Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza. As you see here, it's a pure water type and it's an absolute destroyer. Kyogre and Groudon were actually super powerful even in the main series games. So if you remember way back when, when Kyogre and Groudon first came out, they were actually the highest CP Pokemon besides slacking. They're just that powerful. Insanely powerful stats, high attack, Great Pokemon and super versatile and very popular used in Master in Open Master League. As you see, Kyogre doesn't really need a buff. It already has a pretty it has a solid move set, I would say. Surf allows you to Surf is a great bait move and it does a ton with Kyogre's attack, it does a ton of damage. Blizzard and Water Thunder also give it great coverage. Blizzard against dragons, thunder against flyers. And Waterfall also gets stabbed. So that's what makes it such a powerful Pokemon in Open Master League. So what if it did get Dragon Tail? So, I hate to say this, but maybe Niantic was actually right about removing Dragon Tail. So I looked at multiple sources and I actually can't find Dragon Tail. As you see here, Kyogre has a ton of great moves. However, what's really missing is if I control F and try to find Dragon Tail, I looked at every generation. In this, you can't actually find Dragon Tail. There's no Dragon Tail in the move pull archives. So maybe someone at Niantic just really jacked up and they're like, oh wait, Dragon Tail isn't able to, you can't learn Dragon Tail in the main series game. Remove, remove. So maybe someone at Niantic just screwed up. Or unless they were trying to make Dragon Tail an exclusive move only for Pokemon, Niantic's Pokemon Go. So again, it was very strange as to why, Ni why Kyogre was given Dragon Tail. If it doesn't get in the main series game, then it is pretty justified as to why it was removed. However, if it had it, let's see, yeah, if it has it, I guess that's the interest. But yeah, I guess Niantic kind of fixed something that was supposed to be right. Well, they break everything anyways. Dragon Tail should have never been given to Kyogre if it didn't get in the main series game, and they should have debated us. But unfortunately, we did get debated, so you know what? Let's just do it for science. 
All right, as I always say, please consider donating to peepoke.com. Here's Kyogre with its regular moveset. If you've played Master League at all, you know Kyogre is an absolute destroyer. As you see here, 80% in the two shield, and it's very strong in all scenarios. 80% in the one shield, and in the zeros, it's still less powerful. As you see here, it's insanely powerful. 80s across the board. This is what its original moveset with Surf and Blizzard. Thunder is also very effective, not too much of a drop off. However, if we do give it Dragon Tail, this is what we get. As you see here, if we hit battle, we have 80%. So it goes down 1%, which actually isn't that bad in the two shield. In the one shield, you go from 80 to 83. So actually, it's better in the one shield in all scenarios than Waterfall Kyogre is. And in the zeros, with Dragon Tail, you get 85. So Dragon Tail Kyogre is actually much more powerful in the one and the zero well not much more but it's actually more it's actually stronger than the waterfall variation in the one shield and the zero shields so this makes kyogre really interesting because 85 percent of matchups is really freaking good all right so here's dragon tail kyogre we got here here's my favorite part people to come matrix we got the dragon tail kyogre and we got waterfall oh let me fix that but yes, it's very interesting how like it's a lot stronger. So we're about to find out how like beastly Kyogre is with Dragon Tail. Here's the two shield. We will be looking at level 40 just because level 50 is kind of painful and it's there's no actual like default for level 50. But level 40 is good enough to just me memorize because level 50 and 40, there's not too much of a difference if they're at even levels. As you see here, Kyogre with Dragon Tail is a beast. It's able to wipe out, you still can't beat Dialga, but you can beat every other Dragon Archetype. You could be Dragon, you could be Dragonite, you could be Garchomp, you can even be Giratina Altered. And mind you, Giratina Altered is a thick, thick Pokemon, very thick, big booty. And Giratina Origins, you don't beat Giratina Origins, however, you leave it almost dead. So does it come out of its matchup with energy? If it does, it's pretty nuts. But as you see here, it lives with like 7 HP, so... Yeah, not like it won't have any energy either. So you could you could just sack Kyogre or you could just take out Gear to Origins, either one. As you see here, it does a ton of even if it has Dragon Tail, it still beats Groudon. So that's the good part about it. You still beat Groudon. You could still beat Ho-Oh. You beat and you beat Kyogre's in the mirror because they don't have because their waterfalls are your their waterfalls are resisted and you beat Kyogre. So you beat either one as long as you have shields. You can also beat Lugia with Dragon Tail, where Waterfall does not, which is really strange. Because with Waterfall, you get Stab. With Kyogre, with Dragon Tail, you... Yeah, it's weird. But, yeah, you can beat Lugia. Anyways, you can beat so many things in Elite. Again, you beat the Dragon Archetype. You could still beat Groudon, so you can still beat what you're supposed to beat with Waterfall. And you beat the Mirror, you win the Mirror, and you win against Zekrom. So, it's like a really... It's really weird. Yeah. Well, not really weird, it's not a surprise, but yeah, it's it, the fact that Dragon Tail is better than Waterfall is pretty nuts in the twos. If we go to the one shield, we get this. So if we go to the one shield, it's better in the one shield according. So in the one shield, let's see what you beat. So without water, without Waterfall, you don't beat Conkledur, but you're able to beat both versions of Giratina in the one shield. That's pretty huge. As you see here, in the one shield, Waterfall Kyogre does not beat Giratina. However, in the one... Our, in the one shield you can beat both versions you can also beat lugia you could still beat lugia you lose against melmetal because dragon claws was i mean dragon tails resisted but you can but and you also lose against mewtwo and swampert so in the one shield it looks like you beat a lot you beat more matchups but they aren't particularly meta matchups or really common meta matchups as you see here in the one shield water, waterfall does take the cake but still being able to beat giratina in the one shield is pretty nuts and now in the zeros with the no shields this is what we get in the zeros you're able to beat both versions of giratina where waterfall kyogre does not you're also able to beat kyogre in the mirror and you will lose against melmetal just because melmetal does resist dragon tail but it looks like everything else is generally the same as far as like meta matchups go so you win the mirror if assuming that's a waterfall kyogre and you can still be giratina origin so you either flip the dragon meta or the steel meta and you still die against dialga just because dialga is overpowered but as you see here kyogre with dragon tail would have been nuts especially the two shield scenario dragon tail would like lead dragon lead dragon tail kyogre would have been nuts you beat a lot of things and you still beat a lot of like pop you still beat a lot of popular like what you're supposed to beat with waterfalls so that's what makes it nuts now yeah that's what makes it really nuts it's really really good because you basically in the two us like in the two shield it's really really good so 
Kyogre with Dragon Tail would have been an absolute destroyer, not only for Dragon Raids, but also for PvP. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think dra like Kyogre with Dragon Tail would have been really interesting for Master League, just because of the fact that it's able to beat the Dragon types in so many scenarios. Kyogre, however, is a very, very powerful, one of the strongest legendaries in Open Master League. So it's good enough with Waterfall. Does it need Dragon Tail? I don't really think so. But as you saw there, Dragon Tail and the Two Shield is pretty dang dope. So Kyogre would have been really interesting with Dragon Tail. However, again, like uh, like because move sets normally correlate with the main series game, having Dragon Tail removed is kind of justified. Because if you can't learn in the main series game, unless it's like I said, it's Pokemon ex Pokemon Go exclusive, Kyogre can't. Kyogre doesn't normally learn Dragon Tail. However, it did it would, like what it would have been pretty dang interesting. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the What If series. Again, Kyogre is very destructive. And if you have any suggestions, please put in the comments below. Let me know what you would like me to take a look at for the What If series. And if I pick you, I will go ahead and make a video on it. And we can take a look at how awesome your suggestion would be. Again, I hope you enjoyed this series of the What If videos. If you haven't done so yet, please like and subscribe. Good luck on your Gravata League sets, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of What If This Pokemon Got This Move or These Moves. Yeah.